Hi everybody. Our article was actually about Domino's and how they have pioneered a contactless delivery system for their pizza during COVID-19. Our group consists of Kirsten, Nick, Marcus, Veronica, and Vlad. Brief summary of the article. It describes how Domino's launched a custom contactless delivery system during COVID. And this article actually came out on the 17th, so it's very pertinent. Domino's strategy, just very basically, they offer low cost food. They own all of their different processes, so they don't have any third party delivery apps working with them. They also want to get the food out to their consumers quickly, conveniently, and safely. And during COVID-19, they knew they would have to take even more precautions to ensure safety and peace of mind to the consumer. You can actually say, hey, I want the pizza delivered to the bench on my front porch. That way I don't have to actually interact with the delivered person, which is pretty cool. So one of the strategy concepts and tools that we decided to go with was SWOT analysis. And this is a framework that an organization can use internally to assess their internal strengths and weaknesses, as well as external opportunities and threats. It may be an oversimplification of their business environment, which is a limitation of it, but it can serve as a starting point for a company to think about things like their core competencies, what's happening in the market, as well as kind of sort their resources and capabilities uh, into one location. It's also subjective, meaning that it's the things that go into each category are decided by management by themselves and then um, all the categories in it are equal so it doesn't necessarily show where the more critical elements to put focus is on. And then the other tool that we went with was the corporate social responsibility which is defined as the activities of companies designed to further some social objective that lies beyond the direct economic interests of the organization and there's about four that are listed on this pyramid with the core ones being economic, legal, and ethical and then on philanthropic for kind of integrating the business with the community in which they operate. And this can come in the form of monetary donations, time from their employees, as well as donations of goods and services to the community. And then stakeholders of the firm are interested in continued efforts, not just one-off sorts of feel-good PR. And some organizations that try to help with the assessment are the Global Reporting Initiative and the Certified B Corporation. However, despite these, it's still a very broad category. A firm can operate somewhat unethically or unphilanthropically within some areas and not in others. And then also they could, uh, engage in performative activism in which they aim to increase their ca uh, capital rather than actually uh, focusing on the cause. We chose uh, two responses of Domino's to the current pandemic, the contactless uh, delivery of pizzas and also their modification of the employee benefits to tailor to the challenges. We think that Domino's already had a very strong home delivery network that they can uh, build on and use at this time. However, their employees may face risks related to the illness and contacting the disease. However, this uh, may present as an opportunity as the other uh, restaurants in the business may be less prepared. An example could be our local Dion's Pizza. Um, also, face a fierce competition from third-party delivery applications. In regards to the employee benefits, they could use this as an opportunity to enhance their loyalty and productivity because Domino's decided to grant them paid leave for both the full-time and part-time employees. However, this comes at a time when Domino's has significant debt. Improvement of the company's image is uh, an opportunity and there is a threat to Domino's uh, stated uh, expansion strategy. We're discussing here the, the two uh, responses from the SWOT uh, analysis point of view. Uh, as we mentioned, Domino's has a, uh, an aggressive expansion plan and to increase their market share. Uh, they're planning to increase their number of stores. This uh, may be an opportunity right now when uh, some other competitors may be be under strain and they may uh, face challenges to maintain their pace during this time. They may be seen as favorable dominoes positioned compared to their competitors who may not have the same kind of resources. Sustaining the production during this time will probably be crucial. In regards to the benefits, uh, customers may identify with the employees of Domino's during this time of hardship and their treatment of employees may come under scrutiny. However, this may be an opportunity to gain advantage. So 
with regards to corporate social responsibility, Domino's is meeting its economic responsibility to generate profits, and it's meeting its legal obligations from the local and federal governments in the countries that they operate in. They're also meeting food and safety regulations and, according to the article, are following the COVID-19 guidelines. But they take this one step further by meeting their ethical responsibilities. For example, the article talks about them pioneering contactless delivery during COVID-19, and they're offering hero pay to their employees. Beyond that, they're also using delivery bikes in some areas for sustainability, and their boxes contain 40% recycled material. They're also a member of the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil and work with suppliers to make sure they're meeting sustainability and ethical guidelines. And Domino is also meeting some philanthropic responsibilities. They've committed to donating 10 million slices at over 6,000 stores around the world to essential workers and children. And they also have the Partners Foundation, which is established to assist team members in time of special need or tragedy. The company is also involved in fundraising efforts for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and has raised $9.8 million for the hospital in 2018. Corporate social responsibility does fit into their larger strategy. Domino's strives themselves in being a brand in progress, and they state that they're constantly looking at how to get better at everything they do, including their CSR efforts. They also value transparency and publish an annual brand stewardship report that focuses on their progress on efforts to operate as a good corporate citizen. In their supply chain, they have human rights and sustainability standards for their suppliers, which include sourcing and chain of custody certifications using third-party audits for their box suppliers. And they also support the five freedoms of animal welfare standards for their farmers. But their CSR strategy is not without its issues or its drawbacks. Even in more recent years, Domino's has faced some major controversy. Last year, they were hit with a lawsuit over their website and app not being accessible after a blind man named Edwin Robles was unable to order his food online despite using screen reading software. More recently, Domino's employees have been complaining over feeling unsafe during COVID-19. Some of their major concerns were that the no contact delivery was left at the discretion of the customer rather than the driver, and that there were no limitations on groups of employees working at once. Okay, so from this, we came up with a couple of recommendations. And so the first one being that they should slow down the growth strategy that they have in place. So as Vlad mentioned, they aim to grow their number of locations from 10,000 to 25,000 by 2025. So we thought a more achievable goal would be to lower the goal from 25,000 to 15,000 stores by 2025. Slowing the growth would allow for more flexibility to adjust to a more innovative strategy, maybe based on technology where they wouldn't need as many brick and mortar stores going forward. And also we thought that food quality and service could suffer from overexpansion. And so we thought that corporate should conduct random food quality checks at all new locations to help with this. Also, we suggest that they continue and improve their CSR. Their profits are healthy enough right now to add more CSR initiatives. And some of these being increasing to 15 million slices yearly donation, maybe begin sourcing produce from local markets or farmers going forward, redesigning packaging for less waste, incentivizing employees use of electric or eco-friendly delivery cars, bicycles, and other things like that. They're already using drones or robot deliveries in other countries, and so we think they should expand that into the U.S and also increase pay and benefits for employees, not just during times of COVID, but regular times so that their employees feel appreciated. So we wanted to get a little bit of a local take on a restaurant during COVID. So we chose to examine Dion's. During COVID, they actually adopted a delivery process, but that really sacrificed the quality of the pizzas when they were delivered. And so we figured that if Dion's had performed a SWOT analysis, they would have seen that their strength was in the quality and not in delivery. They have completely stopped doing deliveries. Something else that is pretty awesome for their CSR, they are actually partnered with the Girl Scouts of New Mexico. That way the Girl Scouts can sell their cookies at the stores as well as online for the first time in history. That's our presentation on Domino's. Thank you so much for being here.